Hi, how's the Pesach prep going? Let's take a break from that frenzy and listen to a few words of wisdom and insight from the Torah. It's Chavi Rappaport here. So we are about to embark on the third book, the third Sefer of the Torah. And so we will, we will call it the central, the focus book of the Torah. The first two being almost like an introduction. Hashem created the world and lets us know firsthand through the stories recounted that the Jewish people are the ones that will see the fruition of Hashem's purpose and vision in creation because the other nations of the world were mired in their corruption and Hashem is forced to destroy the world and begin a nation, the Jewish nation, from Avraham, our forefather. And we see as the story continues how his ancestry is born and all the happenings that lead up to that beautiful covenant, that intimate event between us and Hashem at the giving of the Torah at Sinai. And from there, once we've been born as a nation, a kingdom of priests, Hashem's chosen beloved children and people, Hashem goes on to prove to us, even though we stray, even though we turn away, the concept of repentance. And I wouldn't even call it that. Return is presented to us. Hashem teaches us that nothing can separate us from Him. And after that, we reach our third book. As I said before, the central book, and that's why it starts with Va Yikra, connecting that Vav, that and of connection. Everything that happened beforehand is culminating here. With what? Hashem calls out to Moshe. Generally, when Hashem speaks to Moshe, it says, Vayedaber Hashem el Moshe Lemar. And God spoke to Moshe, saying, but here, in this introduction, it actually uses both. It says, Vayikra, and then it says, Vayidabra el Moshe Lemar. Hashem calls out to Moshe first, and then speaks to Moshe, indicating Moshe. It's not about the intricacies or the details of what I need to tell you. I am calling out to you, calling out to you to meet me, to engage in this relationship with me. Yes, there are rules. Yes, there are laws. And we're going to learn about all the sacrifices. But the intention is not for laws to be laws. It's Hashem calling out to us, beckoning to us to engage in a personal relationship with Hashem. And you know, so fascinating. Everything that has to do with the Torah has, has the number three embedded in it. The Jewish people are divided in three. Kohanim, Leviim, Yisraelim. The Torah was taught by three, Moshe, Aharon, and Miriam. It was three days of preparation that was needed. Okay, there are three parts to the Torah. There's Torah, Nevi'im, which is prophets, and Ketuvim, which is writings. And here we are again, three, Vayikra, the third book. And the essence of Torah is the coming close, Karbanot, coming close to Hashem and remembering that our relationship is not about the nitty gritty details. It's not about just doing what we have to do. It's about a relationship with Hashem. And you know, interestingly, karbanot, which we very often translate as sacrifice, is really, really has a root root of karov, lehitkarev, lehitkarev, to come close to God and to come close to ourselves, to, to come close to our inner soul and our purpose. And this parsha, this segment, begins with sacrifices that actually are voluntary. 
and ends with sacrifices that are brought when a person commits a transgression. And the message here is so beautiful. Hashem says, I call out to you. I have a relationship to you. I want closeness with you, whether you have transgressed or not. It is almost meaningless to me. It's about you. It's about your core essence that is so pure and holy and you can always be close and come close no matter where you've gone you know the quote no matter where you roam you can always come home now isn't that message so personal to me and to you so our takeaway i think a really incredible takeaway is let's never see the Torah, the commandment, as a list of do's and don'ts, because that makes it all so mechanical. But let's see it as a personal relationship and see it as connecting and feeling a closeness and a purpose and a special place in God's heart, if you'd like to call it that.